Hey guys, it's Chef Jason Morris, a race hardware grilling expert. We wanted to take our burger game to the next level. So we went to Weber HQ, hung out with our friends there, and created this fantastic guacamole burger. If you're interested in grabbing all the gear, gadgets, and grills we've got, head up to that eye. That is our information station. That'll let you into everything we're doing here on today's recipe. It is time to get cooking and get ready to make you that hero at your next backyard barbecue. All right, here's my avocado cleaning tip, right? I give this guy a little squeeze. I wanna loosen it a little bit from the skin. Then I'm gonna take my little rubber scraper here, get inside there and very carefully work my way around getting 100% of that avocado out of the skin. Now we'll go ahead and mash these guys up. If you want it chunky, mash them up a little bit less. If you want your guacamole a little bit smoother, mash them up a little bit more, right? I'm gonna add our lime juice add our red onions. And again, like I said, as much or as little as you prefer, I'm gonna add that fresh chopped garlic. Jalapenos, this is where you decide if you like it hot or not so hot. We'll add that jalapeno in there. We'll add a little bit of cilantro. Now what I like to do, let's mix this up first. Then we can sample it, see where we're at from flavor standpoint, and then finish it with salt and pepper. We need a little bit of fresh cracked pepper, so we're gonna go ahead and add that. And then we're gonna do a little bit of salt as well, and that should give us our final finish. I'm cautious on this recipe not to over-season the guacamole because we're gonna have a burger that's got some seasoning and cheese as well. So we're gonna go ahead and season our burgers, and I like to do this so they have about five to 10 minutes to really soak in some of that seasoning. And that's a great time too, allowing our grill to heat up, which we've already started, and we're heating it up now to 550 degrees. All right, we have the grill preheated to 550 degrees. Let me show you a little bit about these burgers. I went with an 80-20 ground chuck, right? So that's 80% meat, 20% fat. And I went with that because it's gonna give these uh, burgers just a nice juicy, juicy finish and ensure that they're gonna come out tasty. Then I went with ground chuck because it eats like a steak. So I really wanted to enjoy some steak burgers on my Weber. Now we're gonna go ahead and load these on here. The beauty of this grill is we're gonna get just an amazing sear. And what that sear is gonna do is really caramelize both sides of the burgers and lock in as much juices as possible. All right, so we're gonna take a peek here. You know, Weber always says, looking ain't cooking, and we believe that. So I let this go for about five minutes and I wanted to get a really nice sear developed on here. And you know, people always ask me why this grill? One of the things I just enjoy about this grill is you're looking at 39,000 BTUs on this main uh, three burners. We've got an extra 9,000 BTUs available on the sear station, but look at that. Beautiful caramelized burgers. It's gonna maintain its heat. Uh, it's gonna deliver an amazing product, whether we're doing beef, pork, chicken, hey, even desserts, right? But like we said, looking ain't cooking. It's time to let these go for about another five minutes to ensure we get that beautiful medium rare burger. All right, so while the burgers are cooking, it is time to utilize this bun rack, right? This warming rack up top. This is a great time to get your buns on there. We're using a beautiful onion Kaiser roll today. We'll get that all toasted and set and ready to go. All right, it's time for a little doneness check. And one of the questions I get a lot is, hey, should I cut my burger open to check the doneness? I'm gonna use my Weber snap check. I'm gonna go right into the side, into the center of the burger, and I'm looking for that 135 to 140. That's gonna give me just a perfect, beautiful medium burger. It's time to do a little cheese melting. So here's what I like to do. I like to break my cheese in half, lay it over the top like that, and I'm gonna do half with cheese, half without cheese, because eh, you never know who wants cheese or doesn't in your family. So now I'm gonna shut the lid, but check this out. I'm gonna turn the grill off close the lid and let that cheese melt. All right, so we've got this beautiful burger hot off the grill, melted some of that cheese on there. We are set. That is fantastic. Dude, so good. When it comes to showcasing this beautiful Genesis 2 grill, burgers do an absolutely fantastic job. We've got a really great sear, uh, caramelized that burger, fantastic. We topped it with a little bit of guacamole, really making this fantastic. Hey, a couple things for you super quick. Don't forget to subscribe to the Ace Hardware YouTube channel. Then you've got to see what we've done with strawberries. At the end of this video, we have a fantastic grilled pound cake 
and roasted strawberry recipe that will make you an absolute legend at your next Backyard Barbecue Fest. Thanks for joining us. We appreciate cooking with you from your friends at Ace, the helpful place.